Hi everyone, this is Jen. Um, this is a video on how to create a Kindle Direct publishing account and get it published ready. Um, most people already have an Amazon account, but I have come across some people who do not. So if you don't have an Amazon account, you just come over here to kdp.amazon.com and you click on sign up and it will take you to this page right here. And you enter your email address and then click on I am a new customer and then say sign in using our secure server and you'll create a password after that. Now I already have an account so I'm not going to go through all that because it'll just take me to a bunch of error screens. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in with my existing Amazon account which if you're going to KDP, to Kindle Direct Publishing, you and you already have an Amazon account where you order stuff, where you order books or products or, or um, download Kindle ebooks, then you don't have to create a new account. You can just go with the same account that you have, period, right? So this is my existing account. Um, I also have another account that I'm going to go ahead and log into in order to show you how to fill out your account information but once you have a few books published this is what your account is going to look like and it'll have all of your titles listed right here which is kind of cool to look at because you know once you have a few it's like yay look at me I'm an author <laughs> but um, for us today I'm going to go ahead and sign in with um, an account I don't use anymore because I had the accounts merged by Amazon in order to avoid any confusion. But if you're just creating an account, this is what your dashboard or your bookshelf is going to look like when you first log in. So um, up here, I want you to pay attention to this little box. This little box tells you whether your account is published ready or not. If it's not, then you have to still complete some account information and it actually sounds worse than it is and it looks more complicated than it is. Um, I have had a few clients who have had trouble with this step and needed help with it but hopefully this video will walk you through everything enough, well enough to where you can fill out all your information. So here, you would put your country, right, and your address, city, state, zip code, phone number, and I'm not going to put my personal information online, but this is all pertaining to whatever you're using as far as um, your publishing identity goes. If you're using an imprint and you have maybe like a whole separate business for it, it would be good to use that imprint's address if you have like a P.O. box or if you actually have an office or whatever. Um, if you're just using your business name, same thing, you know. Um, all right, so after that is tax information. And here you would just click complete tax information. Save changes and continue. Oh, see. I'm going to have to, yeah, I can't, I can't do that yet. <laughs> and this is exactly the same process as with Create Space. So I'm going to click Yes, Save and Continue. I'm not going to actually fill in my information, and, but, you know, you can, you can see that it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Obviously, if you're using, I have a lot of clients who are business owners, so if you're one of those business owners and you'd like to use your business as your publishing company, or you want to keep everything strictly in your business, then you would obviously want to use your business type and your business name exactly as it appears with its... Um, business, you know, number, the EIN or whatever you call it, and keep all that information very, very um, consistent across the board. So 
once you're done with that, see I can't save and continue, but it walks you through and I'm about 25%. Um, there's probably like three more screens, two or three more screens like this. Um, and the last one will be an electronic signature screen, just like with Create Space. It's the same exact form. So um, if you just follow along and fill out the appropriate information, then that will get you well on your way to being able to publish. The next part is um, for royalty payments. You would want to add a bank account. Um, unless you want them to send you checks, in which case you don't want to add a bank account. But I always choose add a bank account because it makes things easier. I don't have to worry about checking my mail and getting the check and then driving all the way to the bank because my bank is like a half hour, half hour away from me. So it always ends up being this big, huge ordeal to go, go cash a check or deposit a check. So I really prefer direct deposit for whatever I'm doing. Once you have your bank account information in here, you're going to have to go through all of these marketplaces because they're all Amazon marketplaces, right? And you need to make sure that you check that you put in EFT and it'll populate your bank account right here, right? And um, make sure you select US dollars. And same thing here, if you select EFT, Make sure you select US dollars as your payment method. If you don't, you will wind up with euros or Great British pounds or whatever. <laughs> whatever the other country's currency is. So I'll go through and do all do all of these different marketplaces. And the good news is you only have to do this once. It's a little tedious, but once you're done with that and you have all of that selected, you can click save. And if all the information is filled in, this little box up here will disappear. There is only one page on KDP where you have to fill out information. And once you're done with it, you can start publishing. If you go through and you think you've filled out all the information, but for some reason you still have this box coming up, um, it could be that you just missed something. So if you go to update now, It'll take you right back to here and give you another chance to complete the information. And usually, it'll tell you what's missing still. Um, like, for example, I didn't finish the tax information, so it says incomplete. Once it's complete, it'll have a green check mark and the box will be green and um, it'll, it'll give you an option to update your tax information, but that's about it. So, there we have it. Hopefully this helps you guys get your accounts set up and ready to um, publish on. And even if you're not one of my clients, I hope you still found this useful. And yeah, have a great week. Thanks for watching.